where did we first meet? We first met, as most of you know, in the romantic fields, country fields of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, at a uh, country jam. Who showed interest first? It was like very mutual. I think our first senses to each other were like instantly flirtatious, but I'll go with myself because I just remember thinking, who's this cute little entertaining thing that has some humor on her and these big little white teeth and I kind of like this thing. What is one thing I do that Jenna gets annoyed of? I'm glad you specified one, otherwise this would be a six and a half minute video. I think it's the cold cleaning ecosystem of just like the house, like oftentimes I'll be eating dinner and you know, I'm three bites in and she's confused why every single dish isn't already in the dishwasher and it's, the dishwasher isn't running. No, that's being sarcastic, but I think it's just cleaning. I, I'm not exactly, uh, you know, type A, clean everything and, and anything all the time. And obviously Jen's the opposite way. So I'm actually thankful for it because it makes us a better just couple and we need to have a clean house, but I'd say cleaning. What is our favorite activity to do together? I won't say take an edible on the couch and watch a movie. Um, I would say just cabin time. Like I think like sunset booze cruises at the cabin, that's when we're both in our happy place. It's hard to beat. What is the bride's worst habit? I don't know if this is officially a habit, but I would say when she gets hangry, it is bad news bears. So yeah, again, I don't know if that's an official habit, but hangry, you turn the other way and you direct her to the nearest Triscuit box for some food. Who said I love you first? I think I said I love you like the third night I met her in Eau Claire still, so the answer is me. What is our favorite date spot? It's kind of changed over the years because we've lived in SLP, North Loop, now obviously we're Burb kids. Right now, like we love going to Bull and Wren and Excelsior, but I would say anything wise that uh, like we love Six Smith. Um, so I'll go, I'll go Six Smith for our favorite date spot. What subject do we argue about the most? I think this is kind of like my second answer with the what does she get most mad at? I think it's anything to do with cleaning. You know, why aren't, why aren't you vacuuming? There's dishes in the sink. Um, even this morning I got a call at work and I thought, you know, something had happened to the furnace and she was there to inform me that there was five cups left in the sink from Saturday night. So I would say anything organizational kind of cleaning wise is usually our little, we have a little skerfuffle over. How many kids do we want to have? I think Jen wants to be the first like 48 year old mom to have no complications with pregnancy. She wants to wait a while. Um, she wants three. I kind of want four, but I'll, I'll say three for now since I don't exactly call out of the shots during that whole process. Oh God. What item of mine would the bride throw away the second she got a chance? Em probably knows this answer, but it would be my childhood blankie. Um, I actually, I, don't, she, I have two of them, I don't know if she knows that. She's only seen the one white one that says Samuel, which I received from my wonderful grandmother when I was like three days old. Um, I think, I don't even know if like it's in our new house. I think she probably threw it in like one of the linen closets or it's in the middle of a dumpster in Stillwater, Minnesota, but she would definitely scope out my childhood blankie and throw that thing away. I am making Jen's favorite dinner and what do I make her? I don't make a lot.
lot of dinners. It's not my strong suit. Hopefully someday it will be. I think I would just do a nice little simple grill out. I'd go get some sides and apps um, and dishes from Firely, and then we would grill some burgers, brats, and, and most importantly for Jen, hot dogs. I think we'd just do a grill out. What is my bride's go-to drink order? That's easy, that would be a whiskey ginger, Irish whiskey ginger. What is one thing the bride cannot live without? That's also pretty easy. I would say her reality TV. We've got Housewives of Atlanta, we've got Southern Charm, we've got Something Something Beverly Hills. What would the bride say is the groom's best feature? Probably taking selfie videos while driving on 394. Um, no, she always comments on my eyebrows, which I feel like that's not something I stand here and like fist pump about. Um, but I think she would go eyebrows 1A and eyes 1B. Final answer. What are my favorite few qualities in Jen? Well, that could go on forever. Um, I I just don't think it's very common to have a mix of personality and looks and humor like Jen has. That was like what first stuck out to me when I first met her. She waltzed across the country jam little floor and, hi, Swarney Seven, how are you? And I was like, who's this little cute blonde thing just barking out nicknames that I've never even met her before, so. I love her confidence, her humor, how entertaining she is. She's extremely loyal. If you're if you're in her circle and on her side, she is extremely loyal and, and selfless and will do things for you that a lot of other people won't do. So uh, I love her to death for those for those qualities. What is the bride's best feature? That is a great question. First two that come to mind are her hands, mainly because I think my hands are the, on the opposite side of the spectrum and are really tough to look at. And her teeth, I think because teeth are like the first thing you notice in someone, um, I will go with her big, white, beautiful teeth. I hope you guys have the best time. Shout out Dana, I know you're putting on an A++ batch party and activities and organized plans. So go take a shot. Cheers, love you all. Love you the most, Jen.